Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's Lunch Crunch. You already know what we do here. We give you the hardcore, no political correctness, thought-provoking topics. Today's segment is titled, Churchian Church Building Idolaters. Coming from a Christian, I find it interesting that majority of the same ones who try to suck you into a church building on Sunday are majority of the same ones who are the biggest hypocrites on God's green earth. They do the bare minimum for Christ if really anything at all, which isn't even going to a building on Sunday. That doesn't count. They aren't here out on the streets, nor taking full advantage of all the ways to spread the gospel. They tell you what you need to be doing, yet they themselves are not doing it. They get mad because you don't want to step into their hell pit on Sunday. But never take into consideration that maybe, just maybe, you're on the streets or actually doing something for the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you have a YouTube ministry with thousands of subscribers averaging thousands of views each video that sounds like an impact to me maybe you're having fellowship at the house you know the way it was done in the bible now if you want to get technical majority of church buildings are 501c3 which gives the government certain rights in exchange for the gracious tax breaks. If you want to get even more technical, the Bible never says go to church, as in a building, but says go to or visit the church, the people. Somebody might want to actually do some research as to how the modern day church building came about. RCC, anybody? Roman Catholic Church? <laughs> Weren't they also responsible for bringing in Easter slash Resurrection Sunday slash I don't celebrate Easter, so we're going to call it Resurrection Sunday, but it's still the same thing? And all the other religious satanic practices you see every denomination doing. Including the independent fundamentalist Baptists. By the way, my wife grew up Catholic for 16 years. So she is pretty familiar with what the Catholics do and don't do and what they do and don't believe. And I might add, she's been to every denomination there pretty much is. Yet for some reason, there's an eerie similarity between them all. I wonder why. Now, I'm not against a church building. But I am against the idolatry of pretty much worshiping the building and the false doctrine coming from majority of them. All the while neglecting the true church, God's people. Yet everybody claims my church ain't like that. Well, 99% of those who say 
that have to be wrong. Because Jesus told us what the number one sign of the last days would be. Many anti-Christ. Now correct me if I'm wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But since church buildings have popped up and grown in number, has the world gotten better or worse? Majority will live by the building and die by the building. The God that I serve is not bound by a building. The scriptures also tell us God does not dwell in temples made with man's hands. Be the church and bring the church wherever you go.